Dr. Neruda had given five interviews a couple of decades ago and his last interview the fifth interview it was published after some years and in all these interviews the entire history of mankind that uh, how aliens were interacting with human beings and how in the higher realms of our existence the aliens are interfering and actually according to their ideas our life is being controlled in some ways by some species of aliens and all these aspects are very much controversial but here the most important aspect is this that dr neruda has pointed out that uh, there is the fifth dimension ascension of the earth and the process has already been started uh, sometime in the uh, year 2000 to 2010 and it is a long process and the culminative effect of the five fifth dimension ascension of the earth is going to take place in the year 2030 and it has been explained in this interview fifth interview that most of the people of the earth some people say that 80% of the population of the earth is going to be annihilated and 80% population will be done to death because in this ascension of the fifth dimension there will be the higher spiritual energy which will be available for all human beings and and therefore after 5d the complete life of earth is going to be changed it will be upgraded and because of this the sixth sense or the extra sensory powers in telepathy and some other higher experiences in the state of meditation and and due to the awakening of the third eye all these spiritual assets and experiences will be easily accessible by the common people but the problem is this that only 20% approximately population of the earth is composed of such people those who are capable of uh, entering into the fifth dimension and it is said that the 80% of the population of people they are so much uh, degraded because of greed and lust and selfishness and so many other vices of human nature that these persons will not be able to enter the fifth dimension and so it is said that there will be the destruction of these people the 80% of the population in the last scale so because of this some spiritualists and some persons who are having deep experiences of meditation and uh, entering into the uh, higher dimensions of life and they also speak about the intergalactic federation etc so these people are insisting that there is a very bleak future for 80% of the people of the world but if you look at this phenomenon from a different angle then we should come to the conclusion that if there is a divinity or higher forces of life of god or the almighty 
वॉट एवर नेम वी मे गिव टू हिम दैन इज इट पॉसिबल दैट द सुपीरियर और द अल्टीमेट पावर ऑफ दिस लाइफ इट विल एलाउ फॉर द एनिहिलेशन ऑफ द एटी परसेंट ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन दैन आवर इंट्यूशन आवर ओन माइंड सेट यू नो डिनाइज दिस एंड इफ यू लुक एट दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम अ डिफरेंट एंगल दैन यू नो दिस पीपल से दैट देर इज अ साइकल ऑफ द फिफ्थ डायमेंसन एंड इट जनरली अकर्स आफ्टर वेरी वेरी लॉन्ग स्पेल ऑफ टाइम आफ्टर ट्वेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड ईयर्स एंड दे सेट एट ट्वेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड ईयर्स अगो ऑल्सो वन दिस ऑपरचुनिटी अकर्ड बट एट दैट टाइम वेरी फ्यू पीपल ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन वेर कैपेबल ऑफ एक्सरसाइजिंग देर फ्री विल एंड very few people actually deserved to be upgraded to the fifth dimension and therefore the globe of earth did not find its ascension on the fifth dimension but now it is said that a good number of people are capable because of their spiritual inclination because of they are doing meditation because of you know they are Uh, going to exercise their free will to enter into the new realm of spirituality that is called the fifth dimension because of this you know the phenomenon of uh, fifth dimension is going to occur so when this cycle occurs after 26000 years then you know from the view point of god almighty the average life span of people on the earth let us consider that it is 65 years or 70 years then we can understand that after the fifth dimension only in 70 years all those people who are living these 80% of people those who are not capable of you know raising themselves to the consciousness of the fifth dimension in within 70 years all these people will die naturally and therefore from the point of view of god almighty the all souls find their rebirth generally after 70 years or 100 years and when the new souls are born during this phase of Uh, transition of the fifth dimension then it is said that the new souls in their new uh, rebirth you know uh, they they have naturally this tendency to find themselves in a suitable conditions in the fifth dimension and if it is so then from the view point of god you know there is no need to annihilate this 80% of population because gradually within 65 or 75 years when all people die including this 80 percent and those 20 percent who already they are placed in the fifth dimension so when all people generally going to die according to our normal life span of 65 to years or 70 years then you know there is no need or requirement for the annihilation of these souls it means the belief that 80 percent people are going to be killed by some natural calamity because the followers of this dr neruda there are two mr sharmas there is one mr bhatia there is one mr jagdale dr jagdale and some other three or four persons are there they claim that uh, they have the uh, capacity to go very deep into the meditation and they have the first hand experience they say that what is going to take place till the year 2030 and they say that only two options are there for entire mankind one is the great reset and the second is the one world order so they believe that according to the plan 
of the new world order the there is the objective of you know reducing the population only to 20% so this may be the plan of the dark forces but if we look from the viewpoint of divinity then we can understand that within 65 or 70 years when all people are going to complete this life cycle then you know there is no need for the annihilation of this 80% of population and therefore my point is this that those people who have very deeply studied the five interviews of dr neruda and some of them also find that they have the capacity to experience what is going to take place by their meditation and they think that in their meditation they are observing the visions of uh, how you know great calamities like the earthquake the tsunami or some other uh, disaster or some climatic changes it would be man made or it would be nature made so this uh, all calamities will occur on a large scale on such a great and global scale that only 20% of people will survive so i think that they are mistaken and in the point of view of divinity gradually all people are going to be reborn and therefore my appeal is this that these people should actually consider that what spiritual experiences or visions they are seeing in the phase of meditation they should understand that those people who have supernatural or extra sensory experiences or visions or predictions in dream in in uh, meditation they must understand that only 5 or 10% of these visions are true and there is no guarantee that whatever visions they see regarding the depopulation they would be true and therefore they should also try to look at this great uh, drastic change of earth from the view point of common sense and from the view point of divinity they should assume that if they are very close to god then they should assume that how god is going to make a plan of this if there is a, a nature cycle that after 26 years you know such conditions are arising that there is a great shower of energy from the cosmos in our solar system and on the earth and because of this the fifth dimension is going to occur then you know in this long spell the, the those souls who are taking a new birth they will be easily finding the conducive atmosphere for the raising of their consciousness to the fifth dimension okay thank you